It is a beautiful day out. I guarantee some of you are thinking about making cocktails already for your Friday night for the weekend and here to help us out with that. Uh, we have Jason Spencer, mixologist at the Exchange and Alibi Lounge in Minneapolis. Uh, good to have you here with us. Thank you very much for having us. So we're talking about some trendy, fun cocktails and this is kind of a fun time of the year to, to get creative. Very fun, very creative. You should try something adventurous. Um, summer is all about trying something new, yeah. um, creative and refreshing. It's all about being vibrant, vibrant colors vibrant flavors and just something that gives it that little extra wow. So I like to do the vodka soda, but you say, let's not do that it's right very now. Basic. I know, it gets <laughs> kind of boring. Basic. It does. And it, sometimes <laughs> it is hard to know what to try, right? Because right. people just don't really know the options. That is true, and everyone has a different palate and everyone likes different things. So yeah. we try to incorporate all that into our drinks. So we have five drinks that we're, we're gonna try here. Maybe you can make it at home this weekend. Maybe you can just order it when you're out. Who knows? Uh, what are we making first? Uh, the first one is one of my favorites at the Exchange Nightclub. It's called the Holy Toledo, which is Holy named Toledo. after one of our owners. Okay. Um, it has a couple different um, liquors in there, and then it has tops with champagne. Nice. I'm a tequila fan. I'm a champagne fan. It has best of both worlds. Puts it all together. All right. We'll try this. It's uh, <laughs> three quarter ounces of tequila, okay. three quarter ounces of uh, yellow chartreuse. Give that a little shake. We're going to shake that up. Is that we are kind of your favorite part? That kind of is. You Sometimes shake it, it up. is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> show uh, we're going to strain bit. it into the champagne glass. And then you just top this off with a nice champagne. Today we're having Bel Air champagne. Bel Air champagne. Yes. Do you have a favorite champagne? This would be it. This is it. This would be it. This is the one. This we go. Um, it's gonna come. It's gonna. It's gonna spill a little bit because yeah. of the sugar in there. You just turn um, it off a little bit. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that one is cool. So that number one. Really good. We have that. Yep. That's all done, right? That is correct. Okay. What are we moving on to? Uh, we two? are moving on to this one. Is called the Pita. Um, its name kind of comes from what ingredients is in it, and it's cucumber. It's okay. uh, cucumber and mint. Uh, you take two slices of cucumber, two slices of mint, mm -hmm. um, and when you do muddle, you don't want to smash the fruit in there. You don't want to smash the mint. You just kind of want to gently bruise it so it gives the flavor and the aroma. Good it smell. releases that. So we'll take that here. Muddle that together. Muddle that together. That's a good point because people probably overdo that. I Very much imagine. so. And if you do that, you just kind of compress everything to the bottom of the drink mm -hmm. also. Um, we're going to put a scoop of ice in there, and then that comes time to add our alcohol which this is vodka, um, one quarter ounce vodka. Um, the rest is lemonade. All right. And yes, we also- it lightens it up a little bit. It does lighten it up there. a little bit. Yes, it does. Um, we also give this one a little shake. You want to get all those ingredients to kind of mix around, mm -hmm. um, all the flavors to kind of pop. You strain this one into a full glass of ice, which we'll have right here. And this one is a favorite of mine. Voila. Voila. And that's, what's that one called again? Um, this one is the pita. That's the pita. Yes, that is the pita. And then we have three other ones here. We probably have about 30 seconds left. Of course. Can you run through what these last three of are? Of course I can. Um, this one is one of our main ones here. This is called the Investor, which is for the sophisticated palate. Um, that has a special Knob Creek um, bourbon in it that was made specifically for our investors. Okay. Um, a little Tattersar Amaro. Nice. And a little simple syrup in there. The next one is the Stone Arch. That is our version of a little gin sour. Mm -hmm. um, we do a homemade sour um, gin and a little um, topped with some blueberries. And, the and the next one. one we have is the Red Passion, which is a very easy one to make at home. It is Malibu passion fruit rum. And then that is cranberry juice topped with Sprite. Looks amazing. Thanks Excellent. for coming by. Thank you very much, Appreciate you guys. It. Appreciate yeah, it. Totally. So if you want these recipes, if you want to make them, uh, they're going to be on care11.com. Go to uh, care 11 News at 4 under the Shows tab. We will be right back. Stay with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.